Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And as you can see, I have been busy. I've been trying to get this producing a little bit better. Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out the ratios and all that stuff. As you can see, I have done a little bit of research off camera. I have uh, got the, the fast inserters, hoping to try to get this line a little bit better. And uh, I also started bringing in the Kindle line from over there into a smelter to make more limestone to try to see if I can keep this producing and it's not really holding up and now I'm starting to have backlog over here where this isn't running enough because it's not getting enough uh, extract because this is filling up with fiber because this isn't processing fast enough or something so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go ahead and make a container uh, let's see here, logistics, make one container, and I'll just do this. No one, sir, no, uh, actually, I gotta make a filter ginger, and I actually had one, so I don't, don't even know why I built that. Uh, I'll place that. Oh, hang on. Oh, you're not gonna do it there, are you? Okay, fine. Alright, uh, put a filter here. Uh, I have done a few other things, too, and I'll show you in a second here, is I have... Uh, set up another composer because the other one that reached its limit it couldn't actually do anything more because of space requirements right, you are going to be taking fiber out Oops. and we'll just stick it in there for now but yeah we've reached the limit here 288 cores in that one so I had to build, start another one I got this one going here I currently have 133 research uh, what I have unlocked was uh, nothing in here yet I don't know if I want to take the flatten yet um, I can't remember if I got anything in here yet. I want to get into assembly speed, but we need the, the blue cores for that. Uh, I did unlock the, the filter insert and the fast inserter. And I believe that was it. Uh, there is a power app which will reduce power cost. And other than that, there's not too much else I can do in here. I could probably unlock that, but we're kind of kind of locked on the blue cores and uh, also need to get into Atlantum. Now, I did go ahead and make where are they here? 125 mining charges. So we're going to go gather up some of that Atlantum. But another thing I need to do is I need to get these things on water wheels. Because uh, I keep running out of power here. Uh, did I actually have them on me? I do. So I'm assuming... Uh, you see here. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I got my pickaxe back on the bar, I... Where are they here? Oh wait, hold on. They'd be in here. Uh, actually, I'm looking for power floors. That's what it was. Uh, yeah, I've been noticing that there's been uh, boxes hidden, like, in the ground. We'll go over here quickly, just to show you. Uh, I don't know if you'll see it on the mini-map. I'll bring up the main map here. But... I was looking around and I noticed you know, there's this little dot there, a little green dot. There's actually a small little chest and in that one I found... I can't remember exactly what I found on that one, but there was another one over here I dug to. And I found... There was like a hundred coolant and... Some parts or something like that. So yeah, it's uh... A little bit of exploring, so there's always little things buried around. You have to keep always got to keep an eye on the map. Uh, let me see if I can actually increase the size of that. Doesn't appear to be, but anyways. But yeah, that's why there's that X on the, this composer here is because I can't put any more cores there. And now I need to find out where I'm going to put this uh, these water wheels. I guess I'm also going to take these cranks out. Give me a spot to uh, put more machines because I'm actually thinking about going to a second level here. I did like how you can put the conveyors underneath them. That was actually a nice little feature. Uh, so far, I've been... I actually found a chest I had 20 stacks of plant matter, so they're keeping the smelters going for now. Uh, but I do want to uh, progress. I know over at that last site we were at where the emergency beacon was, where I had to blast my way in, that there was actually a very large deposit of Atlantum there. I don't know if it's one of those things that you, you blast it and automatically collects for you, or like automatically goes into your inventory or if something you have to pick up off the ground. Uh, we'll get the power back up in just a second. I want to see how this thing works. Because I know it has to be in line parallel with it. Uh, and I'm guessing 
this should work. So let me build a little platform out and I'll bring it back and uh, I'll see if it works. Oh. Okay, let's try this. It was actually easier for me to place this into the water and then uh, place the power floor down. I uh, built it from, uh, from the ground up. Everything all matches the same grid placement anyways. So then we go there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Oh. And I think, as long as I connect this to this here, then everything should get power. In theory, anyways. Hey! Come on, let me up. Uh, hmm. I have to build a sta staircase here. I took them off my bar, so whatever. Do that, and... Oop. There. Sure, I'll clean it up later. If I can get back up. So is this not generating enough power? I think so. I think that's what's going on. It's not actually telling me a power usage here. Ah, okay, what I'm generating, what I'm using. All right, let me get a few more done and I'll be back. Okay, well, this is what I've got so far. Uh, I've only got two water wheels. I might be able to extend them more, so I'm crafting more, but it's not generating enough. I'm using up to 1,600 kilowatts, and I'm only producing 600 with these two water wheels. So either got to get longer rows, which uh, I don't know if I could build under a floor because I can't place one here because this is here. I don't know if it's because of the composer or the actual floor itself, but... Uh, that's not working. But in the meantime, uh, we do have something to blow up, so let's uh, go find that Alumentum. Or Atlantum. And I can't remember exactly where it was. Uh, I can't really see it on the map, but I'm gonna go find it where it was, and I wait there, and we'll go do some, some blast mining. Okay, if my memory serves me, and if the view is correct, it is this way. Uh, I do have, I think, uh, 30 of the water wheels queued up. So let's see if I can find it. I should be able to see it on the map. Uh, I think that was it. Oh, there it is. Right over there. So let's go do some mining. I need 450 to unlock and upgrade the next stage. And I think that's where the advanced circuits come from. I'm going to need this alumentum ore to make circuit boards or something. That's not where I want to go. I want to go over here. It'd be nice to have a bigger mini-map, mini because I kind of want to pay attention to areas, because you see like little things like that, and I don't know if that's somewhere I've been, or or what, but there's like definitely a lot of exploring to do in this game. But, let's go up here, and let's do some blasting. Now, do I have them on the hot bar? I do not. Uh, right there. there they are. And let's hope I don't blow myself up with them. Do that. There we go. Oh, it does give it to me. Nice. Ooh. If we do it like a uh, multiples. Ah, oh, you gotta do them one at a time. Well, that's cool. How much have I gotten? 110 already. Nice. I'm assuming I can't hurt myself. I don't think I've actually been injured yet. Anyways, come on. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, let me uh, do some mining. I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, I'm back, and I also have a little over two and a half stacks. Uh, I found another, another node I was going to dig through. Now I find my way back to where I was. I came up through here, and... Better blast away at that rock. If I come out of here, where's that going to take me? Not where I want to go. Alright, well, I'm going to try to find my way back. I'm just coming across these giant rocks, too, that can't be destroyed in any way. As you can see up here, there's one here, too. But, that's about it. And I came across a bug where I placed a few of them here, and I can't activate them. I think it's because they're in a protected zone or something like that. Aha! Get out of here. Anyway, 
Uh, I'll go meet you back at the base and we'll uh, upgrade that terminal. Okay, well, it seems to be there's a limitation to these water wheels because I've extended these quite a bit and I'm limited to 600 kilowatts, so I think it's going to be 300 per water wheel. Uh, I can't craft them, I have to research them, but we do have to investigate that. Now, I did already go over there. I was, like I said, I was looking around for boxes. Oh, actually, let's go, on, let's go upgrade this terminal first. Do I have the iron and copper? No. But let's go put the... Atlantum ore in there. I need 900 processors and a whole bunch more copper. Oh, going 900. All right. Uh, I thought it was 25. Oh, it was previous upgrade. It was 2400. All right. Uh, yeah. I gotta get all this refueled again. Uh, take copper. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that and I'll bring you back when great upgrade. Okay, I'm about 140 processors short. Uh, I'm at, put some extra cranks down to generate some extra power for the meantime. So let's go over here. This is actually quite interesting because there was a, a structure there, and I was just like I said, I was exploring around looking for like chests and things hidden in the, the walls and the caves and stuff like that. And I came across this, and it was actually quite interesting. Am I going the right way? Probably not. Where the map comes in handy. Uh, where am I going here? I'm going over here. I can find my way through. Aha, I think this is it. I already got the achievement for finding it. Oh, that's my base. Uh, let me find it. I found it. I took the long route last time. That's why I didn't find it. Yeah, there was some weird tower here. I came across it was Crystal Falls or something like that. But anyways, uh, let me make sure I'm recording. Let's we'll see what this is all about. If I can get up. Hmm. Let's check, have a look at the map, see if it shows me anything. It doesn't even show it on the map, but look, there's a, a room downstairs. I have no idea how we get to it either. Could be something interesting. Lots of exploring to do in this game. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna look around and see if I can find a way up, and I'll bring you back if I can. Or I could go around the corner and take the stairs. Should have expected that. All right, let's see what we have up here. I definitely like the exploring aspect. Like I said, you look at the map; it doesn't matter where you go. You're always going to be finding something like something, oh that's here, but there's something down there, there's something over there. Something way up in the, the roof there. So, always lots of exploring, even a little chest down there, so. I'm sure it's just going to be basic stuff, but you never know what you'll find. Like this, what is this? Some sort of lab, of course. But this is H.A. What we were supposed to go to, and I think I think I need, actually need the advanced circuits for this. If I can find a way, I should get in. Oh, here it is. Always the last door. Monorail track and cooling system. I'm not even close to that yet. Actually, I could probably do the monorail. Uh, from what I've heard, they're working on an update right now. Uh, monorail apparently is bugged at the moment. Uh, I don't know how far bugged it is, but yeah, I'm, we're not even there yet. Maybe transport or oh, logistics. Uh, it's locked behind conveyor belt too, but I'm sure I'm going to need the blue research for that anyways. But, okay, so this is this. I don't think there's anything else here, is there? Like a lot of vegetation to grab. Let's have a look at the map, see if we see any structures. Well, there is... There's a box up there somewhere. Let's we'll see if we can dig that out. Maybe it's... Accessible up top, top here. Let's see where it is. Probably right over here. And yeah, the chests I've been finding up, or the boxes I've been finding have actually been like embedded right in the stone. So you actually do have to dig them out, so let me find it. Oh, in this case, just have to be in the room below me, so that's not going to work. 
anyways, uh, I'm gonna look around see if I find anything else interesting, and if not, I'll bring you back when I'm back at the base and we'll, we'll uh, upgrade that terminal. A weird looking plant. We adjusted our suits for them. Those creeper plants used to reach out and try to grab anybody who walked by. Got so common that it became a rite of passage for people who joined Deep Recon. Spaghetti got her call sign off of it. Yeah, I realized I was at the wrong location. I was looking at the, the marker out there, it was SC, and it's like, wait a minute, no, I thought that was HA, but no, HA's over here. Alright, uh, ooh, it's, uh, it's not gonna let me take anything, that's unfortunate. Oh, you're not gonna let me take it, anyway. And I can't scan you? Okay. Anyway, let's go, uh, see what's going on over here. Apparently there's something up with these high voltage cables, too. So you'll be to never <gasps> crank generator again. Where are they? We should check out that office too. Ooh, what is this? What is this a transformer? Where's those water wheels? Ah. Alright, scan you. Okay, I think that's going on. I think that you can have them in parallel with the generators. Oh, not you. And I'll scan all the things. It's a cost to make it. Uh, research, research, please. Uh, 180. Oh. All right, I gotta get some research cores going. Anyways, uh, I should know. Let's go grab that wire because I don't think I have the high voltage wire done yet. I do, but this is also completes the blue research cores. Awesome. Now, what do they cost to make? Or do I have to actually research them now? Uh, science... 250. Oh wow, we gotta get a couple more closers down. Alright, well, let's go investigate, shall we? It's a good thing she reminded me about the, the water wheels. And you need the advanced circuits. Well, the advanced circuits, I think that we have to unlock with the next uh, upgrade there. I don't think there's anything else here I really need. Uh, check the map, see if there's any any goodies. Uh, there's a box all the way over there. Is it buried in the wall? I wonder if I can get that from the cave. Probably not. If I gotta dig for that thing. Uh, anyway, I'll meet you back at the base. And by which I mean Victor. So, QDS, you got the better of me. Again, I was looking for little hidden treasures on the map. And I came across this structure with a chest in it. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's supposed to be something that's supposed to show up in story or what, but... Facility access door unavailable. What do we need for this? Refer to display panel for self-repair requirements. That's actually not bad, because I've got... I can go ahead and process this. Process this, and... High voltage cable I should be able to actually craft. Maybe. I don't think I have research yet. It's going to be energy. And that's going to probably be further down the line. Unless it's logistical. I doubt it. Anyway, back at her. Okay, we are just about done here. I have just enough research to get the water wheel. Let's go, go ahead and activate that and see how dreadful the cost is going to be on that. If I hit the right button. And it's going to be down here. It is... Wow. Takes a long time to make a couple. And even then I have to mass produce them. I might have to... I might bite the bullet and make a few. I'm actually making the processors myself. So maybe I'll do a cut here and make a few and... See if that actually imp improves production. Because what I might have to do is... If I can stack the water wheels on top of each other. On top of the stacked cranks and get the power. Uh, I'm going to have to use this area here for composers because this one's not going to hold too much more either. And I don't think I can have these here if I, if I put another composer here. So I might have to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to grind away and I'll be back very soon. Okay, I have the processors all ready to go. Uh, I do have, as you can see, one water wheel is just about ready to be finished crafting. But let's see what this does first. Well, I know what it's going to do, but... Go ahead and upgrade. 
terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. So that's gonna give me. Hold on. You've learned how to get Atlantum the fun and easy way with explosives. Now you have to actually do something with it. Our smelters weren't built to burn it, so turning that ore into ingots won't be as simple as iron and copper. Start by threshing it into a powder. You'll also need to start supplying the production terminal with power from accumulators. See that big plug on the side of it? Yeah, a high voltage cable goes right in there with a voltage stepper on the other end. And make sure the stepper is on a floor with a good power network behind it. Try to find some time to explore it, too. You've got more tools now to open some of the doors we've been finding signals for. Places where people might be trapped. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking where it's going. And now you can see what the next one is. 4750 iron frames, 4750 copper frames, and these are like four ingots a piece, and only four, 500 processor units, but the Mark II conveyors 3400 and then 1400 alumentum. So we're kind of, oh yeah, and uh, the power usage too. I don't even know what I'm producing right now. Let's see what it says. Well, I should have the water wheels ready to go. Uh, it's not telling me here. It will tell me at the accumulator though. But anyways, uh, let's see if this actually does anything. So I'm currently producing... Well, let's say 2400. All right, and then if I connect you to there, 2700. Okay, that'll actually work then. All right, I'm gonna make a few more of these and uh, get a couple lines, but maybe I might actually extend this line because so far I haven't had any obstacles and I think it's got something to do with that composer. For some reason, I don't know, but anyway, I will be back. Okay, there we go. Number 10 is being crafted right now. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where it's going, like, clearly power is going to be a major concern in this, and is this going to hit a wall? I think it'll be fine, do that, and that, and then, and I'm not sure, but I think this might actually be enough for now, as it finishes crafting. I know I can check the power right now, but I'll do that in just a second. I actually want to go off the cranks. See if I'm actually getting surplus or not. Alright. Now that's what we have. I'm generating three grand, not bad. Now I want to see if I can actually get more by putting more cranks on here. Because I took the old ones down. Uh, speaking of, I should probably grab some more resources so I can get that the composer crafting. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, no, we might as well do that now since we got the research. I was looking at some of the things that they have. Uh, one of them just happens to be an Omni Seeker that helps me find resources and other items of interest. I gotta remember I actually have to save resources for that, so I'm gonna actually need that to find this out at Lantum. And then, what was the other one? Uh, uh, transportation, oh yeah. Uh, High flight too. I better I better have a pack, but uh, I gotta find that. And I have a feeling it might be in one of these beacons that we discover. Uh, anyway, so I need to get some more copper. I had to fill these up again. I was looking at the biofuel, the the, the bio bricks, I should say, and uh, it actually gets quite extensive how efficient they can be. It increases the density. I don't know if it changes the recipe or not, but it definitely seems to last a lot longer. All right, let's go ahead and craft one of those. And then while we're waiting, we'll put more water wheels down, or more cranks, and I'll bring you back when that's all ready to go. Okay, that does seem to be the limit, but I think adding more water wheels onto that might actually improve it. But all in all, I'm actually generating double what I, oh. It's quite the spike. Let's actually have a look at the power menu here, see if we can find out the highest I use is about 2,500. At least this is passive, so I will always be generating this 25, 2600 until I get more water wheels on. And, uh, yeah, that should work. I actually almost want to test see if adding one more onto these will actually improve it, especially on this one. I think I've got the room to stick one in. One way to find out. Oh, 
not in a protected area. We'll be good. Let me try this and see what happens. Okay, I am back. Uh, I decided to turn these around. They were kind of uh, sort of messing with me. These ones here were facing the right way, so the realistic the other ones are going against the, against the water flow. But I just want to see if putting another one here is actually going to improve it. Uh, I did go ahead and place another composer down. Okay, you're not going to let me place you there, are you? Let's see if that'll work now. Hmm. Let me do some digging and I'll see if I can get this in. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it's not let me place it on the other one, but it, uh, I decided it will let me place it on this one, so I extended it the same length just to make sure that this number stays, uh, see if it actually increases or not. Right now it's 2976. And I want to see what happens when I add another water wheel on here. Okay, and we'll do a water wheel like so. Have it going the right way. And... In theory, this should be 3300. It is. Okay, now I don't know if that's a limit to how many there are. Actually, we can find that out by doing that. Okay, yeah, so there is definitely a limit. Uh, but with that, I do believe we have enough research to unlock the blue research core. And then core clustering, I have, again, I don't know what the reassignment of clustering, clustering is. 480 nanometers, blue. Enables the activation of advanced technologies. Advanced technologies require accumulated electrical charge at time of activation. Insufficient charge will result in tech lockout. So, what they're saying is, unless I'm providing charge, that I can't actually build the things that I want to build that I unlock with that research? Is that what they're saying? Really? Anyway, well, what do these things cost to make? A lot. It's a good thing I've got that extract going. Three purple research cores for processing units, two cooling units. Wow. Or I can craft it by hand in three and a half minutes with all that stuff in my inventory. Good time, so we're going to have to build another factory. But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. I managed to get some stuff done. I got the second composer set up. I'm going to have to get these moving over there soon because, like I said, it's a limit of 288. Uh, I also found out, too, when... Like, yeah, I've been noticing this hold to take resources thing. Uh, I didn't realize what that was for, and then I was having problems with the, the other composer that I got filled up, and it was still putting cores in there. If I hold it, it'll create a bounding box, and it'll allow me to take whatever items are in the inventory, this particular inventory, so I can, so if there happens to have cores in there that aren't being placed, I can actually take them out. So that was actually quite interesting. But anyways, uh, that, that's going to be it. Uh, next episode... I don't know if we're going to start unlocking any more of these. i got to see what this vac circuits is. Actually, we've got to do that right now. This is why I have the assembler set up. But... Do I have event circuits in here? I do not. Hmm. Let me look around. Okay, well, I can't seem to find anything about it anywhere, so I have a feeling that's going to be in uh, one of these doors. I have a feeling it's going to be in this one here, just because it's high voltage wire and that lantern ingots. And that was the that was uh, that tower over at the falls there. So what I'm going to do is between now and the next episode, first I'm going to see if I can actually make these cables, or if I have to research them. I might not be able to make them on me. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I can do, make them now. Oh wow, that was a lot. Power systems over substantial distances must be connected to voltage stepper in order to power machines. Yeah, not worried about that. We're just going to be unlocking that door because I have a feeling that's going to be unlocking the 
Yeah, advanced processors, but I think we'll take care of that in the next episode. Uh, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go in here because uh, we got to start looking for more Atlanta and start processing it. Now they're saying basically throw it in a thresher. I got a thresher here. Take the plant fiber out, and I actually have a lot more than I thought. And then we take this. Alright, so I need extracts. Okay, what do I have any on me? I got... I do. Alright, uh... Intermediate. What do I need here? And I cannot make it. An assembler, okay. Uh, Atlanta powder, there we go. That, that, and that. I need one more powder. Give me that. I'm actually glad I had this machine set up. And that gives me Atlanta mixture. And then we go ahead and we smelt that. I think we do. Oh wait, hold on, do I need more? Oh, it's three to one. Wow. So you need nine ore to make one ingot then. This here it's three powder. Oh okay, three to three to make two. Alright, that's not that's not terrible. Alright, well it takes a long time to do which is where research comes in handy. But anyways, we'll leave it here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.